Technology is growing faster each day but our financial system is still old. Cash is an old system that is dated back to the 1960s. We are living in a time where you can send information within seconds, but the financial system is still lacking behind. Technology reached a point that we can send payments all over the world, but unfortunately, it is a high cost and unpleasant experience. That is where digital currency comes in, too. Enhance the current financial system also called Internet of Value. On behalf of Ripple, we'd like to give you four million dollars. Now, usually people come out with the big giant check and do the like big giant check thing, but we can actually transfer it into Rwandan francs right now, right here. And all we have to do is push this button that's in your account. Do you want to push it? You want me to push I it? I would like to push it. <laughs> Bingo. Interesting. The rise of digital payments anyway due to COVID. Some big investors throwing the towel in and saying, fine, I was a skeptic. I've changed my mind. Square, PayPal. Get Macro important dynamics that is driving the crypto markets is the fact that many governments around the world are printing more fiat currencies here in the United States. You see, you know, trillions of dollars of stimulus, and that means that we're inflating the U.S. dollar. Have this put everything on a blockchain thing. People are, there's probably hundreds of use cases that people are considering applying this technology to. Uh, but one of the things that we noticed is that at the root of most of these blockchains is a payment. So if it's trade finance, when the trade is financed, there's going to be a payment. If it's security, the security is going to be purchased, there's going to be a payment. If it's lending, when the funds are borrowed, they're delivered, there's going to be a payment. If it's a smart contract, it's managing someone's money, there's going to be payments. So what we observed is that the main problem at the root of all of these use cases is payment. Stage today, I agree with a lot of, I disagree with some of. You know, we have uh, payment networks that are not interoperable. Uh, you know, I jokingly, but it's actually serious, point out that if anybody here decided, hey, I want to take, you know, $10,000 from my account at Wells Fargo and move it to Bar Barclays and have it in pounds sterling, the fastest way to do that is to get on an airplane at SFO and fly it there. <laughs> That's a crazy statement. Yeah. I mean, another manifestation that I know that, you know, I, I am a PayPal customer, I'm a Venmo customer, the lack of interoperability has manifested even within that, that network. And so when Ripple thinks about the future, we're thinking about how do we create interoperable networks in the same way that the birth of the internet of information created interoperable networks of information and now any of us can access any piece of information from anywhere in the world, yet we can't move our own value from point A to point B. You know, uh, there's lots and lots of examples I can give on that. So when Ripple thinks about the world, it is how do we stitch this together with the same kinds of technologies that are protocols like TCPI. Ripple is trying to take over the current financial system by bridging CBD central bank digital currencies. As we can see the financial system is inefficient to provide cross-border payments. XRP is a digital asset built for payments. It is the native digital asset on the XRP ledger and open source, permissionless, and decentralized blockchain technology that can settle transactions in 3 to 5 seconds. Ripple is unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, because both have to be mined using a lot of electricity. So, Ripple is a fintech company, and Ripple um, is focused on international payments right now, which is where the high friction is. Here's the irony. In this land of vast new riches, money no longer exists in the traditional sense. There's never a line at the few remaining ATM machines, no one carries a wallet, and fewer still write checks or carry dollar bills, credit cards, or coins. Instead, there's a radical new type of currency exchange used to pay for everything. I don't need to carry a wallet at all. I mean, literally no cash at so all. So you don't carry any cash? No. Wealth creation event in the history of the world, frankly, happening right here, right now. I'm telling you, I don't know what's causing all this, but this just doesn't feel normal to me. You know, the government's running a trillion dollars worth of deficit. Why isn't the economy improving? The government's going to spend almost $3.7 trillion. Why don't I have a job? Why, why is the unemployment rate at 9%? And I even think that number's understated. I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets. All of the problems that we see today in the monetary system are a direct result 
of the decision made in August 15, 1971, you know, to abandon a uh, fixed link back to... Not many people know how the technology of Ripple works and how big it actually is. Very few people know that XRP will be a bridge currency, as the elite people are getting everyone to invest in Bitcoin and other currencies. That is why the current price of XRP is still low and that is why no one is really considering XRP as a great project. If you send money with Bitcoin, you pay a high transaction fee, making Bitcoin slow. But if you make a transaction with Ripple using XRP, it is settled within seconds and requires almost 99.8% less electricity than Bitcoin. Ethereum is a great digital asset, but it is not made for payment systems or bridging other currencies, it has other benefits such as smart contracts. Uh, th there, are, there, are, there are transactions that are um, not within the bounds of the law, um, and those, and there are obviously many laws in different countries, um, and normally cash is used for these transactions. Um, but, but, ca but in order for illegal transactions to occur, those the cash must also be used for legal transactions. You need an, uh, an illegal to legal bridge. Um, that's where crypto comes in. Need to spare. So I'm not uh, bullish on Bitcoin, and you know, I, my general thought would be uh, that you know, if you have less money than Elon, you should probably uh, watch out. <laughs> Why aren't you bullish on Bitcoin? It's it's look. There are things we invest in in society that produce output. Uh, Bitcoin happens to use a lot of energy. Uh, it happens to promote an anonymous transactions. They're not reversible transactions. Our, the Gates Foundation does a lot in terms of digital currency, uh, but those are things where you can see who's making the transaction. Uh, so digital money is a good thing. Uh, uh, and you know, there's a different approach that's local currency and attributed, and you know, deals with all the money laundering and terrorism type regulations, and yet gives you the very com the convenience and the low cost of transaction. Uh, and so, you know, our foundation is very proud that in the pandemic, a lot of the countries we funded to do this were able to get money out to their citizens very, very efficiently. So that's something that it's not got the visibility of Bitcoin. But the move towards digital money uh, that we're very engaged in is a super positive thing uh, that eventually will get to even the poorest country. Elon Musk has been tweeting a lot lately and giving us hints. Elon Musk and Bill Gates are talking in secret language about XRP. They like to talk in number language such as Gematria. For example, in Gematria, the tweet much while wow means actually buy XRP. Stock market crash and economic collapse begins. This is an economic collapse. It's not normal. It will be very different than a recession because there ain't no dang recovery. Trump's been setting up the Fed to take the blame for the economic collapse. Now Trump is being set up by ex-Fed presidents to take the blame. Ex-Fed president, New York, Bill Dudley, has written an op-ed in Bloomberg which lays out a fall guy case. No matter what you think about all this, the underlying message seems pretty clear to me and financial ruin for most all Americans. That is, if there is no more wealth that can be extracted from America, while failing America destroys itself from within. On Friday, the market plunged on news Trump was going to increase tariffs on China. Then on Monday, the markets rallied on comments from President Trump that China was ready to talk. The president has learned that his comments will move markets. Nobody can give China economy goals stable, reliable, impossible. If countries are cheating by manipulating their currency, wouldn't that be a perfect situation to apply a level of tariffs? I think we are taking the moral high road by identifying currency manipulation as an unfair trade practice then our only recourse is to, is to say, then we're going to have to do something as well. Um, unless we call them on it, we can't begin to, to seek these broader remedies that I think would start to bring about a level international monetary playing field, a level international monetary playing field. Brad, what do you have to say to that? Well, I think we are moving into a new world order. I, I think the internet of value, uh, you know, Ripple talks a lot about what 
payments look like, not just you know, today, but in 10, 20 years. And when we think about that, we talk about this internet of value. How do we let value move the way information moves today? Uh, I think about the, the dynamic between Ripple and Swift, not dissimilar to the dynamic between you know, when Amazon in 1997, 1998, and you got Walmart. Uh, and you know, I, certainly it's a David and Goliath kind of classic story. I, I think that the challenge is you're dealing with, when, when Ripple thinks about the future of the internet of value, really democratizing payments, reducing costs dramatically, increasing speed dramatically, we're really thinking about it the same way we introduced new technologies like TCP IP and HTTP that became the internet of information. You know, when we talk about what the SWIFT network is today, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a closed network. It has a lot of members on it for sure, but AOL had a lot of members. And when we moved into the age of the internet at a decentralized democratic uh, network, uh, I think that you, what you're seeing introduced with blockchain technologies, and it's, by the way, it's not just Ripple. When we think about interoperability, we think about interoperability between many blockchains. And uh, you know, I, I think that the, the future we see is uh, certainly you know, one of many networks, interoperable networks, and reducing the friction of those payments to close to zero. And I think you're gonna see a lot of innovation spawn from that, part from Ripple, and part from a, an entire ecosystem. Uh, so I'll also agree very much with what Godfrey said at the end. Competition has, uh, I do think what has happened at GPI is a big step forward. You know, for 40 plus years, we had a, a construct around how cross-border correspondent banking worked. It, it worked but it had a lot of limitations. We're seeing that move forward, but I think uh, it's a step forward when you're switching from kind of, you know, if I may, horse and buggy to, you know, hey, can, can, we, can we make the horse and buggy go faster? Sure, but if we can actually just move to a Ferrari, let's do that. RippleNet is solving the inefficiencies of today's inefficient payments networks. It's standardized. The technology, APIs, rules, and governance are consistent across the network. It's fast. The technology provides real-time settlement and bi-directional messaging. It's certain. Atomic pass-fail processing eliminates payment failures. And it's low cost. High STP rates and flexible liquidity provisioning lowers processing costs. RippleNet is the first step towards bringing the Internet of Value to life through one frictionless...